I, for something as important and something like like border security, and you would think this is something that would need to be sustained, like a sustained principle and policy at the border, and not flipping back and forth every couple of years when there's a new president and a new administration. So I ask that because it, you, we had Trump there for a couple of years, and now we have Biden. That's a totally different worldview. So what's the different worldview that the Democrats have when it comes to the border that makes therefore for different policy? So I'm not just going to say the Democrats, but I mean, the, the Bush administration in the past, mm. in my view, wasn't very tough in terms of enforcing the law on illegal immigration. So this historically, this has been bipartisan. Donald Trump's administration was a bit of an, of an anomaly, but it was an anomaly because they tried, we tried to enforce the law. And when you say consistency administration to administration, that's what the law is supposed to provide. We're all supposed to um, implement the law the same and effectively and so forth. And yet the Biden administration has flouted it, has uh, made it clear they're not going to enforce it. And you see the results at the border. It's a growing crisis. By the way, they won't even admit it's a crisis. It's incredible. Can you give us a little perspective of what the border's like? like? I don't know if that means numbers or if you want to share a story, because everyone's got their own movie in their head about what the border looks like and how many people are coming across and who's coming across. What What's well, your perception uh, of that? Sure. And it, one interesting thing with a 2,000-mile border with Mexico is it is different place to place. You know, you, you get down to the Rio Grande Valley, which is near the Gulf of Mexico in Texas, that's where you have the largest number of illegal crossings going on. And, um, and it's, it's truly just a massive traffic jam of human beings, mostly walking, uh, coming over illegally. And, um, and, and they're, they're back to the point, instead of running from law enforcement, they're running to law enforcement, which tells you their view of how our government is functioning. Um, that the government itself has become a link in the human trafficking chain. And Joe Biden and K- Kamala Harris have made that a conscious decision to undertake that position. And that's where the government is right now. And um, and so it, it really is overwhelming to those communities. And you've probably read recently about COVID testing going on there. They're coming up COVID positive and then getting on buses to travel all over the country. Mm-hmm because the folks in Brownsville who are giving them the tests and finding they're positive don't have any authority to stop them. And, um, you know, NBC reported this just in the last couple of days. So there are all sorts of pictures to this. And as tough as I am, as much as, and I know you are, as much as we want the law enforced, when you see a picture of a family that's, you know, brought all its belongings and so forth, it is very it tugs at your heartstrings and Mm -hmm. we want what's best for everyone in the world. But the reality is we can't remain a sovereign nation if we don't keep borders. And if we don't insist on people using our legal immigration system with which, by the way, we are still far and away the most generous nation in the world as we were under president Trump. Um, I'll, I'll point to one statistic counter to the narrative about the president. Um, In the last 40 years, the Trump administration achieved the number one position and number three position in annual statistics for granting asylum. We were first, third, and 10th in the three full years before uh, I left uh, the department. And um, and number one was was something like 15% ahead of number two. I mean, we blew away number two. So... We never gave way on our number one most generous position in the world under President Trump, but we insisted um, that illegal immigration was not only wrong, but we were actually going to enforce the law. And it's amazing the forces that came to bear, judges, nonprofits, the whole radical left, um, including a lot of money from there, to stop the enforcement of the law. If you don't like the law, you're supposed to change the law. The president, current president, Biden, swore an oath to uphold the law, and he is declaratively not doing that on the border. Ken Cuccinelli, former acting deputy secretary of Department of Homeland Security. Uh, Mr. Cuccinelli, I hope we can talk again. 
Yes, I hope so. Good to be with you. Thanks for your, thanks for your service, sir. Appreciate you. Um, all right. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.